Hello Bloggineers, we are at Best Western Plus Frontier Inn and we're going to show you the fun things you can do in Cheyenne, Wyoming. Our first stop is the historic Governor's Mansion. This is Wyoming place number one. This building served as the Governor's residence from 1905 to 1976. Watch your head. Brother, do you want to watch TV from this screen? Yeah. Okay. This TV is also equipped with a record player and a radio. This was the washing machine back then and it eliminated and it eliminated the need for hand washing. So I guess that was their high technology. This is the fallout shelter? Uh, <laughs> what's wrong with you? Okay, anyways. This This is the fallout shelter because it's a governor's mansion. There's plenty of food supplies here. We're going to the third floor next. This is the attic. It's the warmest part of the house as well. This is the maid's bedroom and it has a small bed. And this is the maid's sitting room. So I guess the maid got the third floor. This is the bathroom. It's pink. And here is Sandra Hathaway's bedroom. I think it's a kid's bedroom. So many stuffies. What's wrong with you? <laughs> and this is the fireplace bedroom because there's a fireplace. <laughs> and here is the sunroom. Wait, no, it's called the sun porch. Yeah, this is probably my favorite room. This one is the children's bedroom. Look at all the mini, there's a mini stove, mini drawers. This is the state guest bedroom, and that makes sense because I see suitcases there. This is the dining room. Oh, here's the breakfast room. Here's the first female governor in the US. And that is the historic governor's mansion. My favorite part was the sunroom since it was so open and it was nice and cool. I like the sunroom, but I guess I also like the basement. It had a fallout shelter and other cozy places. Oh, and the governor's room. That happens to be right next to the kitchen. I wonder if the governor just constantly went up to get food. Our next stop is the Wyoming State Museum. It is, yeah. This place showcases Wyoming's history and cultural heritage. We're doing a bison-themed scavenger hunt. The scientific name of an American bison is bison, bison, bison. The scientists must have been lazy. Right now I'm touching many types of animal furs. This is not the upstairs, right? I thought these were leading to upstairs. They don't lead anywhere. Dude! We need to go to the National Park exhibit. The rawhide top of this drum is made from bison. We turned in our completed scavenger hunt and received a souvenir. And that is the Wyoming State Museum. My favorite part was touching all the different types of animal fur since they all have different textures and some were rough and some were smooth. I like how they have many different scavenger hunts all with their own theme. I chose the bison one because I like bisons after going to Yellowstone and all of the questions had some relation to them and if we had more time here I would probably try another scavenger hunt. It's time to check out Messenger's Old West Museum. This place exhibits Old West memorabilia. From the outside, this museum looks pretty small, even from the parking lot, but once you come in this room, it opens up. The modern day chuck wagons are not really chuck wagons because they might be in a building or at a dinner show, but these are the real ones. <laughs> This coach was from France or England, and it was used in the movie Marie Antoinette. 
We were just in Cody, so we heard a lot about Buffalo Bill. He was a Pony Express rider, and he's called Buffalo Bill because he once killed and delivered 4,200 buffalo in 17 months. This is the vehicle he purchased in 1880. This is the Yellowstone National Park transportation from 1880 to 1960. And in that time frame, there were over 300,000 passengers on, on 165 wagons. These wagons were pulled by four horses. These harnesses belonged to the Buffalo Bill and they were used in his show. And that is the Messenger's Old West Museum. My favorite part was all the animals such as the buffalo. I liked learning more about Buffalo Bill, especially coming from Cody, Wyoming, and seeing some of the things that he used. On to next stop. We're in Chugwater, Wyoming. Just go! Okay. We're in Chugwater, Wyoming. It's around 30 minutes north of Cheyenne, and we're going to check out Quebec 01 Missile Alert Facility State Historic Site. Constructed in 1962, this was a United States Air Force Intercontinental Ballistic Missile Launch Control Facility. Today, we're going on a 30 minute tour of the facility. This elevator is taking us 60 feet below ground to the control center. The tour guide is opening the 15-ton door. This machine has less computing power than this key fob. The two men in this room are responsible for launching the missile if the code they get from the president matches the code in this red box. Here's the escape hatch in case the elevator gets destroyed by the enemy missile. I've never been in a missile launching place before, so it was interesting seeing like the 15, the 15 ton door and how they launch it with turning the keys at the same time. And also there, and also in the missile launching area, there were sliding chairs and shock absorbers to deal with the event when the missile lands. My favorite part was seeing how they actually respond to, missile, to missiles coming into them or launching missiles. The temperature was really nice considering it's the summer because it's 50 degrees down there, but if it was in operation, it would be a lot warmer with the machinery. It would be like 90 degrees. Now we're checking into Best Western Plus Frontier Inn. We're gonna enter our room. How in the world did you do that? We're gonna give you a tour of our hotel room. We will. Here are two queen size beds, a nightstand, a flat screen TV, a microwave, a mini fridge. Here's the table with another light, a phone, and a coffee maker and our view from the window. On the other side of this mirror is the closet. The closet has a suitcase rack, an iron board, a safe, and clothes hanger. What's in here? I'm gonna give you the tour of the bathroom. Here's an ice bucket with cups, a sink, and a nice bundle of accessories. Bar soap, there's a hair dryer, there are toilet paper, while um, oh, they put it very and of course the shower, with of course shampoo, conditioner, and body soap. Now there's a toilet. Stay tuned for part two.